vocabulary is very important there are some new students also for them this lecture will be definitely helpful some of my old students know this how to build vocabulary but for the new students this is very important okay before starting about vocabulary i want to ask you that most important thing i've written here on the board is uh, what are the problems you face with vocabulary can you tell me which problems you face uh, during uh, vocabulary i mean what are your problems with vocabulary so uh, i face problem with use of vocabulary i mean speaking out right word at right time because when you speak in english you are not allowed you, you just can't use wrong word at wrong time so that that's my problem so how to build a good vocabulary so my question is uh, sometimes i know the exact meaning of the words but after some times i forget them so the question is how to remember the exact meaning of words so okay <clears throat> so with all these problems let us move ahead now and see why a good vocabulary is very important i would like to ask everyone that tell me why a good vocabulary is important why uh, having a good vocabulary is an asset for you so please tell why uh, we should have a good vocabulary so during daily conversations or in gds in interviews sometimes some people use different and difficult words and on that time if we don't know the exact meaning of that word we become unable to get the correct message so to understand others we should have a good vocabulary as well as we know if we have a lot of good vocabulary we can speak naturally fluently and effectively so for good communication skills so for having good communication skill we must have a good vocabulary so uh, as far as i know to make your speech short and crispy it is important because when you converse with a people in real life uh, most of time you don't have much time to speak and if you have good vocabulary with you then you can just make your uh, the message whatever you have short and uh, it is more effectively uh, transmitted to the other person also uh, due to globalization as we migrate to the various countries <clears throat> different countries for education purpose for employment purpose or for business purpose so it is very uh, important to have a good vocabulary to communicate uh, with these local people for our survival and sustainable in these countries uh, while giving good uh, impressive uh, presentation in colleges we need good vocabulary while reading books good vocabulary is most important part because uh, when our vocabulary is poor we can't understand that book properly most of the government office like uh, uh, mumbai municipal corporation sidco or corporate office like hindustan group and jindal group mostly the uh, they need we need good vocabulary to speak english and uh, good good vocabulary can make us a good speaker and ex uh, and excellent speaker a good speaker can deliver his message in best way possible by choosing the appropriate set of words and vocabulary he can deliver his message directly to the hearts of the audience in language based exams like jre toefl ielts vocabulary plays an important role so it is must to have above average vocabulary while preparing this type of exams in elocution competition and during anchoring a good vocabulary is very important it plays a significant role in that situation sir as we can see in uh, every uh, company selection or in every interview or gd uh, in in gd uh, basically there uh, we need only one or two minute to speak but in that uh, if topic is sensitive then we have to be careful about words then uh, and we have to put our thoughts as much as short but uh, they should have a broad meaning so that we uh, so that vocabulary is impo important sir. because uh, we make impression in our uh, gds as well as interviews and also we make uh, sentences easily and shortly so friends thanks for your uh, answers you all told why uh, good vocabulary is important and all and your answer questions were also very nice the first question all of you asked is how to build a vocabulary second question was how to memorize those words and third was how to use those words at the right place and the right time okay so let me answer the first question how to build vocabulary well if you think that to build vocabulary there is any other source or any other different method is there there is no other method than reading reading is the only way to develop your vocabulary there is no other way listening is not going to help you nothing speaking is not going to help you because in india in our country we don't have that environment so if you want to build a vocabulary if you want to get words 
those words will only come from textbooks that is oral general books so i will write here before going ahead that is reading so reading is the key for developing your vocabulary now how to build vocabulary that's the important question i'll tell you how to build vocabulary when you read a book you will come across words so i'll write here a word a word is nothing but vocabulary before that let me tell you a uh, vocabulary is nothing but an idea a word is nothing but an idea that idea means a thought that idea is the thought which you want to express while speaking with others so when you are reading a book and when you will come across a word you must know three important things about that word first important thing about that word is you must know the meaning of the word you must know the meaning of the word now meaning of the word changes in english a single word can be used in multiple ways and that is called as contextual use of a word i repeat contextual use okay contextual meaning of the word let me give you one example for example one word is that desert desert so desert can be a noun also and desert can be a verb also when i mean desert as a noun the meaning is different the meaning is a desert like sahara desert all right now when i use desert as a verb the meaning is different the meaning is to desert to desert means to abandon someone abandon means to leave someone that is desert so a meaning of a word depends upon the context in which that word is used all of you understood this okay now second second aspect about a word is the most important pronunciation of a word the right pronunciation i'm not saying accent accent is different pronunciation is different accent is by birth i mean accent is like since your childhood you develop the accent it depends upon the surrounding it depends upon the country in which you are raised the surrounding in which you are raised but pronunciation is very important now how to develop pronunciation most of the time we do a lot of mistakes while in doing pronunciation and what happens is we don't know have anyone around us who will correct our pronunciations so for that you have to use a digital dictionary to improve your pronunciation you have to use a digital dictionary now you have to listen the pronunciation and you have to repeat the pronunciation many times all of you getting it okay listen the pronunciation and repeat it many times many times it's not like only once you have to repeat it many times only then you will be familiar with the right pronunciation in fact i was also doing some wrong pronunciation about uh, of some words but then i realized that i'm pronouncing the word in a wrong way many people pronounce pronunciation and not pronunciation in fact the pronunciation of pronunciation is not pronunciation it's pronunciation so here is a mistake we do all right okay so third thing meaning pronunciation and spelling spelling of word is also very important spelling is very important some words are confusing now spelling i will not teach you now but spelling is also important to work on your spelling you have to read the spelling loudly and you have to write down the spelling multiple times there are many other methods techniques are there which i will explain you in the next lecture not now now this is about the vocabulary this is vocabulary that is word now the next question is how to write down the words in a notebook okay as i told you when you come across a word there are three important aspects but this should be write written down properly in a separate notebook how to write that in a separate notebook i will let you know so suppose there is a word you come across a word write down that word whichever the word is now when you write down that word while reading you will understand how that word is used is that word used as a noun as an adjective or uh, as an verb 
So here basic grammar knowledge is very important. You must know the basic grammar knowledge. Now here a word in bracket you have to write which grammar is that. Is it noun, adjective or verb? This is one. Second, you write the meaning of the word. Meaning. Now which meaning? As I told you before, it must be the contextual meaning. Contextual. In which context that word is used? Like desert I had used here. Which desert? A noun desert or a verb desert? Noun goes as Sahara desert. Verb goes as to abandon someone. So while reading, you will understand how that word is used and that meaning you have to write. But do not write the meaning in Marathi, write the meaning in English. Don't write Marathi. Do not use mother tongue language here. You will be translating them. And translation is not good for <coughs> developing original language. All of you getting it? So do not translate. I know it's very tempting. You will be very uh, eager to go and refer that Marathi dictionary or whichever your mother tongue is. But be careful about that. Use English to English dictionary. Another thing, when you come across a new word, don't jump to dictionary directly. Wait. Guess the meaning of the word first. Try and guess it. What may be the meaning of the word? Guess and then check in the dictionary and then you will realize that whether your guess was right or wrong. All of you got it? Okay. So a word meaning. Now next is after meaning of course I told you pronunciation. You have to listen that word carefully using the digital dictionary using your earphones and repeat that word multiple times. Pronunciation. Okay. Next comes synonyms. Synonyms are the words which are similar to this word. So you must write as possible similar words as you can. Words which are similar to that. Of course, all these words are given in the digital dictionary. A thesaurus is used for that. It is there in your digital dictionary. Download a nice dictionary and you will find the synonyms for that. When you write synonyms, you will get multiple words. This is very helpful in exams. When you are facing exams like IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, or as some of you said that you are facing exams of banking and SBI, all such exams, synonyms are very important. And next is also antonyms. Antonyms are also equally important. Antonym means as the word suggests, opposite meaning of the word. You must write down the opposite meaning of the word also. Opposite meaning of this word you have to write here. All of you getting it? Again, this is like from one word you can develop multiple words. I know the process is quite tedious, quite boring, but in the long run, it's going to help you a lot. And last one, very important. Sentence. Now this word must be used in a proper sentence. This is the most difficult part. Most of the students are not able to use the word in the right sentence because they don't know how to use that word and why they don't know how to use the word the reason is they are not regular readers you have to be regular reader first when you read regularly when such words come across regularly then you develop that i will call english common sense in you or english iq i will call it as instead of saying common sense you develop that english iq and you realize that which word is used in in which place that is sentence so in this way, you have to write these words in a nice notebook. So this is what, how to develop vocabulary. Now the next question you asked me is how to memorize the words. Now we forget the words, right? In fact, I forget the words. Now why do we forget the words? I'll tell you. Understand, in our brain, there is a system. Our brain does not store a lot of data. It deletes the data. Like in your mobile phone, the data which is erroneous or the data which is unrequired that data is deleted we can call it as uh, which type of files junk files so our brain doesn't understand which data that is which words are important and which are not if you do not use a word english word any use any any word if you do not use an english word your brain thinks that that word is of no use and that word goes down in the memory list and you forget the word then while speaking, you have to stammer. You have to think which word is required, which word I have to speak, which word is the right word. 
same thing happens while writing also. So what I mean to say is, if you really want to memorize the word, do not find, do not search for any shortcuts. No shortcut is there. When you write down all these words in your notebook, you have to regularly revise the notebook. There is no other alternative, no other shortcut for that. And when you regularly revise, next most important thing is you have to use those words while speaking. You have to try and think which word I have to use. You will, your brain will provide that word. When you are revising regularly, your brain will supply that word at the right time while speaking. When you are typing on WhatsApp or when you are emailing, you have to think and use those words. When those words are used frequently, we are giving a signal to our brain that I need those words. Preserve those words. Don't delete those words from the memory or don't push down those words in the memory list. I want those words. This is the only way in which you can remember the words. All oh, of you got it? Okay, so second question I have answered that how to memorize the words. Well, one more thing I want to tell you is, see, the words which we need while speaking and the words which we need while writing are different words. While speaking, we don't need very difficult words. All right, words which are used in a daily life. Those are around 4,000 to 5,000 vocabulary words are required. If you have those words with you, you know, right now I'm talking to you. Am I using difficult words? No, I'm using very simple words. Ha, huh. words like uh, from uh, kitchen, from uh, clothing, from transport. These are the different sections where regular words are required. So you should read from various sections, different sections. Like you should read from food, you should read from uh, transport, you should read from uh, uh, emotions, you should read from infrastructure. When you read newspaper from different sections, you will collect different words. And those words are sufficient for speaking. Of course, uh, vocabulary is never sufficient. Vocabulary is like around 8 to 10 lakh words are there in English. You have to keep on working on your vocabulary. Alright friends, so in this way, you have to work on your vocabulary. But remember one thing friends, it's like uh, vocabulary is like, uh, you know, uh, it's like a jewelry on you. It's a makeup on you. When you have good vocabulary, when you have powerful vocabulary, you look smart, you look handsome, you are very confident when you have good vocabulary. And as most of you told that a good vocabulary changes lot of uh, aspects of your life. It gives you good job, it gives you fluent English, it gives you confidence, it gives you good package, it helps you to crack many entrance exams. So. If so many benefits are there, I think it's worth taking the pains. What do you think? Yes. Right? So, well, I hope all of you understood this. Right? So how was this? Nice? Why are you so serious? <laughs> Movie is over now. <laughs> <laughs>